Hi guys, my name is Victor, I live in 50 kilometers of Paris in France and you're now watching Crocker Josh and his best friend Diesel on YouTube. Morning everybody. Another new day is upon us. Oh yeah, and I'm ready for it, let's do it. We're in North Bay, Ontario, and we're headed to Brandon, Manitoba. That's two full days of driving from here, 2019 kilometers, or about 1,200 miles or so, a little over. I think we can do it in two days, as long as we don't run into any problems or any roadblocks. We are going to be going through Highway 11 in Northern Ontario, so there's not many areas to pass. Hopefully we don't get stuck behind someone who likes to go slower than we do. But the roads will be flat. I'm carrying a very heavy load right now. I'm carrying just under 60,000 pounds of steel on my trailer. So that makes us at a gross weight around 90,000. So Highway 17 further south is 50 kilometers or 30 miles shorter, but there's a lot of very big hills. If you come up here, it's pretty much all flat. So you save the money in fuel. You just, it takes a little bit longer, maybe about a half hour longer to get around. Now we're going to go up to Capus Casing, stop there for a little break, maybe have a shower. Thinking about going for a walk through Hearst, Ontario today. There's a whole bunch of stuff I'd like to get done. As long as we get to Brandon tomorrow night, we're good. So I'm all ready to go. I've already done the pre-trip. Let's get going. We're also going to grab some fuel up in Capus Casing. A little expensive up there, but what can you do? You need juice to keep going. They know how to get you. casing now. So far the day has been great. Beautiful weather. Not too hot, not too cold. No rain, no snow. I think we're finally done with that stuff for the season. Just getting through here with 60,000 pounds of steel takes a little while. Everything's a little slower. Though I'm not even as heavy as like those super beasts double trailers you see a lot in Canada. You never see them in the US though. I guess they're not legal there. I, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe they got different laws. But uh, they pull well over 100,000 pounds all the time. So even me being at 90,000 right now, that's nothing compared to what they pull. It must be so hard on the truck. I was talking to one driver a little while ago uh, at a truck stop when I was waiting for a load or something at the end of my day. I was talking to him. I asked him you know, what his fuel economy was pulling the Super Beast. He said he was lucky to get under 60 liters per 100 kilometers on his truck. By the sounds of it, he liked to go the speed limit too, so he was going at 110 or 70 mile an hour all the time with you know, 120,000 pounds. 60 liters, that's gotta be somewhere like, I'm guessing three miles per gallon, four miles per gallon maybe, three or four. Man, those loads must pay a lot to make that worth it. Cap is casing, flying J. It's shower time. Kind of looking forward to this. This is the last flying J before Headingley, Manitoba. Oh, oh, man, you wouldn't know it by the state of their parking lot. 
Yikes. Ah, I'm gonna go around this way and back in close to pure lighter over there. Not right beside him. Bugs me when people do that. There's a big wide open parking lot. I'm the only truck in the parking lot and they come park right beside me. Just why? Why? Do you look loneliness, anxiety or something? Why do you need to park right beside me? No, we'll park a few truck, truck lengths away from him. If I can drag my heavy butt around here. Wow. Yikes, we're heavy. Woo! All showered. And I'm just gonna grab some fuel and look at this. They say no DEF. Pump down for maintenance. These DEF pumps here in Kappa's casing are always down. Just so you know. If you come through here, don't count on them for death fluid. They will always let you down. Nice people inside though. $765.18 later. We're filled up and ready to go. Thank you. Ready, Diesel? Got me some snacks, carrots and celery. Trying to eat better. Not looking forward to it. Time to go. Just rolling into Hearst, Ontario here. On the 11 headed west, this is the last little blip of civilization. We're about a few hundred kilometers, a few hundred miles even. So if you need anything, you need to stop here. Because after this, cell service gets kind of spotty. There's no towns, very few people. Probably the most secluded stretch of highway that I know of that's a regular path of travel in Canada. I mean, obviously there's more secluded roads, but this is a main thoroughfare, you know? There's the 17 and there's the 11. And the 11 is the most secluded here. So it's fine. As long as you fuel up here in Hearst, you should be good. I usually stop here at the Esso. Because from Toronto to here is approximately a full day. And then from here home is another full day. This is a good halfway point between Winnipeg and Toronto. And that's where we usually stay. That's where they don't sell coffee. I just remembered that. <laughs> I always have to walk over here to the shell to get coffee. And that's a Super B. That's what we were talking about just before. You know the two trailers? Oh, and there's a McDonald's coming up. Oh, I'm so hungry. Diets suck. I'm starving all day. But it gets easier after a while. Tell them, Diesel. You want to tell them where we made it to? Feel a little quiet? <laughs> well, we made it to Nipagon to this petrol pass here. It's very, very nice petrol pass. And our first breath of fresh air in the morning. Oh, we so good. Oh, I love mornings. I hate the waking up part because I love sleeping more but 
Once I'm up, I love mornings. Ugh. Anyways, I gotta clean myself up, get ready for tomorrow's vlog for you. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Hit that little bell beside the subscribe button after you hit the subscribe button, just so that you get a little notification when my next video goes live. There should be a new one up tomorrow.